you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Review Stuff. Something's ringing. And uh, today we are in my kitchen because we are going to do a little review of some food today. Imagine that. And uh, we are reviewing, well, not really, but we'll talk about it in a second, the Peeps cereal for Easter, which, oh my God, I was so excited when I got this let down. And then the other thing that we are reviewing is, are you so excited? Oh my God, we are reviewing the Peeps. International Delight Creamer for your coffee, which so many people have asked me to review. So, I'm going to get that started. Here, I have my little cup of coffee. I picked this one so that you guys could see through it when the cream went in there. Um, so, I'm going to start my curry up. Here, I'm just going to use some regular coffee. Okay, I can't use that one. Okay, community coffee that I was sent. We're going to start that and get the coffee going. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Some was, that was not such a hot look. Some was in the kitchen and oh, 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 oh. Okay, so while that coffee is brewing, because it's gonna take a long time to brew, let's talk about the Peeps cereal. Now, I was so excited about this Peeps cereal. Can I just tell you? Oh my God, do you see the box? There is even a game on the back of it. Now, I might have played the game, so if you wanna know in the back here, there's these little spaces, they're so funny. They say things like, I wonder if I lay marshmallow eggs. My best friend is an egg. Her name is Shelly. <laughs> you guys, these jokes are so bad. But I love them so much. And then you go on Petunia Path, follow the trail, and jump ahead to your new spot. I'm a real peeply person, it says. Anyway, so here's the deal. I bought this. I sat down to film the video. I was so excited. And I was sitting there, and I thought to myself, hmm, peeps. Well, I can't eat peeps because I'm a vegetarian and there's gelatin in the marshmallow. There's marshmallows in this, so I bet that there is probably gelatin in here. And I checked, and sure enough, there is gelatin in here. So, I couldn't eat. My husband was laying, I couldn't eat him. My husband was laying upstairs, laying in bed upstairs, and I said, oh, I can't do this video um, for the peeps review. And so, he came downstairs. He's like, I'm sorry. He goes, can I have those? I said, sure, because I can't. And guess what? So he did a review for me. Now, I will tell you, he literally sat while he was watching Game of Thrones last night. He ate hummus and a box of peeps. So let me just tell you um, that he said they taste exactly like Lucky Charms. Like, almost exactly. But if you can see, they, I was going to show you how pretty they are. But he didn't leave me any. He, he left me like one. I can't even play the game because you have to have pieces of the cereal to play the game. I didn't know I had to be, I mean, I'm a vegetarian. I can still play the game. So I can't even play the game because you have to have game pieces. Okay. But this is what it looks like right here. And uh, it's got yellow, blue, and pink. And my husband said it tastes exactly like Lucky Charms, which is really interesting because when I went to Meyer to go get the Peeps, I didn't even know that I could find this anywhere. So many people had told me about it. I was like, there's no way I'm going to find it. Limited edition Peeps Sweet Marshmallow. And I will tell you, I did look on here and there is no gelatin. I I looked over this thing like three times. So if y'all want to come on here and yell at me, I'm telling you, I didn't see any gel. I didn't see gelatin. I swear. I I'm trying to be so good, but I swear I didn't. But isn't it so cute? I mean, I think this would be really fun to buy and take into work, don't you? Like I would back in the day, I would have got a raise just on this. Okay. So my coffee is ready. Now I will tell you one of the things I hate about my Keurig is when you do a big cup of coffee and this is what it comes out with. Okay. Now, I will tell you, I'm not a big cream person with my coffee. Oh, real quick. On this gimmick, I would give this a five, okay? Especially since there's a game on the back of it. When I was a little kid, here, I'll show you since I was going to do this in my video. When I was a little kid, these are the bowls that we use now. Crate and barrel, real cheap. But when I was a kid, I had a favorite bowl, and this was it. This blue bowl. Do you see? I've talked about this on my vlog before. And I loved this bowl. And this was the only bowl that I would eat cereal out of. And my mom knew that, right? And I still have, I think I have two of them left. Hold on a second. I do. I have two of them left still from when I was a kid. So these are very sacred to me. That's why we just put them over there. Okay. But when I was a kid, I would sit and I would eat cereal. And I would read everything on the box. Do you guys do that? My friend Tanya, she does it too. We talked about it all the time. Okay. So now I don't know anything about this Peeps International Delight. Um, it doesn't really have anything on here. I will tell you, it's 35 calories uh, for one tablespoon. Total fat, 1.5 grams. Total carbs, 5 grams. And zero protein. And it was like 3.49, I think. Something like that. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. It was 3-something, I, I think. I couldn't even believe I could find it. Hold on. 
Take the cap off. Put it in the box of Pete's cereal. Clean up as you go. Throw that bag away. Okay. Let's see what it smells like. You know what it smells like? It smells like vanilla protein powder. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Okay. Uh, it, and it's, uh, I don't know how to... Well, here, we'll put a little bit in this glass right here. It just looks kind of like thick cream. So I'm going to try it. That is so sweet. Woo! Oh my god. That is so sweet. Do people drink creamer just as cream? Nobody does that, right? I'm crazy. That is a lot. Get out my spoon. Okay. Let's put a little bit of this creamer in the coffee. Now, I'm not a big creamer person. Now, I do use, here, I'll show you. I have this little silver thing. See, this is where you can repurpose things. My mom left this to me. It was a little vase, and I turned it into a thing for, I think this is Splenda. Splenda. I keep that right next to the car. I came back and adjusted the camera, and I turned it off. Okay, so now we're going to try the International Delight, now that I've done enough storytelling in here today. Okay. <laughs> Do you come for the stories or do you come for the reviews? <laughs> like 5% of you said the reviews, so get to it. You can review yourself off this channel. Thank you. It's kind of a story time review. There we go. See, I look at that and I already think to myself, I am not going to love this because I just don't love cream in my coffee. Clean up as you go. Well, I'll leave it out because I might want to refer to it again. Oh, Judy, I mean to tell you, God, did you see Sally Joe and Sue walking down the street? I know. They were looking at people's mailboxes and everything. Well, they're hosting that dinner party next week. I don't know. I might go. I might not. You are? You're going to go? What are you going to take? Tuna casserole? Oh, I love your tuna casserole. You have to give me that recipe. I do love it. What? You do love the new Starbucks drink? Me too. But I just think it's so expensive. We should probably just stay at home and have our little coffee clutches. Okay, I'm going to try the new Peeps coffee creamer now. Mm, I can hardly even taste it. I'm going to have to put a little bit more on there because I don't even taste it. This is literally like half cream now. Look at that. I love when I'm at a restaurant. I've been sober since I was 22 and a half years old. But I love when I'm at a restaurant. No offense if y'all drank these drinks, okay? But listen, it was beer and Jack Daniels for me. I love, and, and Colt 45. I love when I'm like at a restaurant and somebody says to me, this is the part that's not family friendly, but oh well. Somebody will say, do you guys want a little after dinner drink? Uh, Bailey's? I'm like, no, and I wouldn't have drank that even if I still drank. It's nasty. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. It's not good, you guys. Like, if you like creamer, it's okay. It just kind of tastes like vanilla creamer to me. It's just not great. I don't love it. And I'm having to slurp it because this coffee is so damn hot. Yeah. Okay, I think, like, it's just not good. It's just not my... I don't love creamer, but it's even if I did, it's not my favorite creamer. Sometimes when I'm in the gas station, they have, like, the little Cinnabon. I love the Cinnabon ones. And there's another one that I love. But Sometimes I'll get those. I think they're real fun. And I think those are international delights, aren't they? But this one, my hair looked so cute earlier. I don't know what happened. It just it fell or something. But anyway, I think the container is really cute. I mean, gimmick-wise, a Peeps creamer is fantastic. So I would give it a five for gimmick. But the taste is so subpar. It's not even as good as a vanilla, I don't think, creamer. So, and it's definitely not a hazelnut, and I don't like hazelnut. So, I would give it, like, I would give this, like, taste-wise, like, I mean, it's obviously an upscale creamer. Is there even such a thing? I mean, it's like a two. I wouldn't even, I almost am, like, having a hard time giving this a two. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you have tried it. I'm going to give it gimmick-wise a five, and this a two. My husband did say that he loved the cereal, that he thought it tasted like Lucky Charms, and he thought the look was cute. So, you can go try the cereal. Hold on a second. I do need to get a little thumbnail. You know how we do that on my videos, right? You all get to participate. So, one, two, three. 
Jeez. And see, everybody gets to participate in the thumbnail. Anyway, all right, I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.